Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching BioDesk. In our previous video, we have discussed the structure and caste system of honeybee. Today, we shall study the life cycle of honeybee. Like other insects, the life cycle of honeybee also shows four distinct phases. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult. Reproduction is performed by the male and female individuals of the colony and they are the queen and the drones. As the new queen becomes young, she attends a mating or nuptial flight and mates with several drones who soon die on the spot after mating. During mating, a large quantity of sperm is stored in the sperm sac of the queen. These sperms last for two or more years of egg laying and a small amount of sperm is used during fertilization. The queen lays fertilized eggs. However, some of the eggs may be unfertilized also. The fertilized eggs hatch into female workers or a new queen while unfertilized eggs hatch into drones. The eggs are laid in the cells of the hive. The queen bee lays about 2,000 to 3,000 eggs per day. Eggs are small, white, pinhead sized, elongated structures. In a bee hive, there are a number of elongated hexagonal chambers. These are called the cells. One egg is laid inside each cell. The eggs are small and elongated. minute structures. Most of the eggs are fertilized, having 32 chromosomes and such eggs develop into queens or workers, while some eggs are unfertilized, having 16 chromosomes only, these are called haploid and these develop into drones. The eggs hatch into larvae in the next three days. The larva is also small. elongated, cylindrical and segmented. It is legless and without eyes, just appearing like the grain of rice. It has a small mouth and larva is the feeding stage. It grows in the brood cell and is fed by the worker bees. All the larvae are fed with royal jelly for the next three days. However, the larvae which have to develop into drones are fed with royal jelly 
for the first three days and then with the bee bread. Bee bread is the mixture of pollens and nectars. The larvae which have to develop into workers, they are also fed with royal jelly and bee bread. But the larvae of queen are fed with royal jelly throughout the remaining days. Pupa is non-feeding stage. It develops inside the cells of the hive. Later, pupa changes into adult. The pupa of the queen bee has a lifespan of 7.5 days. However, the pupa of workers develop into adult in about 12 days. That of drones develop into 14.5 days. So in this diagram, we are seeing the eggs, larvae, pupa and adult. Four distinct stages, all develop inside the brood cells of the hive. Eggs, non-feeding stage, larva, feeding stage. Pupa is the non-feeding stage and adult performs different duties. Queen performs the duty of reproduction. Drones are for fertilization. And the workers perform different duties at their different lifetime. In the beginning, the worker bee performs the duty of cleaning the birth cells and the hive for the next three days. From four to six days, workers perform the duty of feeding the larva, pupa and adult. From seven to eleven days, they prepare royal jelly. From twelve to seventeenth days, workers produce wax and construct new comb. From 18 to 20 days, sting and sting glands develop in them and they start providing protection. They work like soldiers. And from 21st day, we can say in the fourth week, they become field workers collect pollen and rectars from different flowers, protect the hive and produce honey. Thus in different phases of life, worker bees perform different duties. This is all about the life cycle. Now let us see the main points. In the life cycle, we see four stages, one egg, another larva, pupa and adult. Eggs are small, elongated, like the size of a pinhead, structures, about 3000 eggs 
are led by the queen per day eggs hatch into larvae in about 3 days larvae are also small elongated segmented legless and eyeless worm like structures they are with small mouth and they are the feeding stages feeding forms larva changes into pupa in about 6 days during this they change their skin 4 to 5 times that is called molting so they molt 4 to 5 times during their life pupa pupa is elongated conical inactive and non feeding stage pupa changes into adult remember the life span of pupa is different in the three different castes the pupa of queen develops into adult in about 7.5 days pupa of worker changes into adult in about 12 days and it takes about 14.5 days to change into adult for the pupa of drones so the life span of different pupa varies the adult adult comes out from the hive shell and leads an active life depending upon their caste they perform a specific duties thus remember in honey bee the queen lays two types of eggs most eggs are fertilized while occasionally unfertilized eggs are also laid remember when the eggs are fertilized they are diploid having 32 chromosomes while unfertilized eggs are haploid having only 16 chromosomes the fertilized eggs develop into queen or workers 
when fed with royal jelly during larval stage the fertilized eggs develop into queen and if the larva is fed with royal jelly and the bee bread then it develops into worker in both the cases means the queen and the workers both are females the worker performs all the duties of the hive except reproduction these perform the duty of nurse cleaning feeding and then perform the duty of soldiers providing protection collecting pollens and nectars from different flowers so for edging also the unfertilized egg unfertilized when the egg is unfertilized then it develops into drones and drones are meant for fertilization only this is about the life cycle of honeybee and now let us talk about the economic importance for the collection of pollen grains and nectars they visit flower to flower many times and thus honey bees serve as good pollinators they help in pollinating the flowers they produce honey which is a very nutritious food rich in minerals and vitamins honey also contains antioxidants and thus honey helps in improving body immunity for preparing the bee hive they produce some wax like substance called bee wax the bee wax is of also medicinal value used in cosmetics in the preparation of shaving cream and cold creams the bee wax is used in preparing candles thus honey bees are of great economic importance too this was all about the life cycle and economic importance of honey bee with this the chapter honey bee is completed hope this session was useful stay tuned for upcoming videos do like and share this video and subscribe our channel see you in the next one thank you